Right, Ross, well, you scored 40 in the uh, first paper one that I've marked uh, this term. So I'm looking, hopefully, for a big improvement on that mark. That's a great pair, great start. Question one, full marks. That is excellent. That is full marks on the first paper. That's 18 marks you've already got. Brilliant. And I can't fault that either, so full marks for that. Well done. That one is correct. Now, perpendicular means at right angles. So the line DC is there. You've written that that's 90, so you've identified that that's the right angle. So AE is the line that you're looking for. And parallel to AD, there's your line AD. So you're looking for the line that is sloping in exactly the same way as that. So if I roll my pen over, you should see it's BC. Um, and measuring angles is something you just got to practice. I'm not going to spend time in class on that. Watch how I do it on the video clip, and for goodness sake, practice it. Fight for the page. This again is something that you, you've just got to know. Uh, that's an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees, which means it's an obtuse angle. The facts that you've got to learn. Symmetry, again, you, you know what's how symmetry works because it's happening there. You've got that right. Symmetry here is diagonally that way. If you were to fold that over along that line, then you'd get that pattern. And similarly, if you folded it that way, you'd also get it. So you've thrown three marks away there. Um, 41 centimetres squared is correct. So why, down here, have you missed out the two? Okay, that's just carelessly throwing away marks. Okay, you're not going to get that unit mark because the examiner can't be convinced which one of those you think is right. So that's, that's another mistake you've uh, mark you've thrown away there. So that's four marks for that page. So that's a really good start, and that's quite disappointing. Similarly here, that's correct with you. But I'm sure you could do that. Watch how I do it on the video. That is something that you should be able to do. Nobody else has struggled with this question. Again, we've practiced loads of those before Christmas. All right, you're looking at the wrong method there. That should be a times that you're doing. It should be 76 times 54. So your method is completely wrong there. That's right with you. Again, this is something that I know you can do. You were doing these before Christmas. You find 1 8 by doing 48 divided by 8 which is 6, and you need 3 eighths, so you need 3 lots of 6, which is 18. That's correct. These need to be prime numbers from the list that you're given. 200 is correct, well done, and 2.63 is correct, good. 2, 4, 5 for the page. x plus 6 is right. That's wrong. It isn't y equals 25. It's just y times 25 or 25 times y. That's right. Well done. And again, we've practiced that many, many times. And that's something that you need to go back and take responsibility for being able to do again. These, again, were something that you could do without a problem before Christmas. Sixty-two is correct. Well done. You've done the hard work, really. Once you know what x is, if you know that that's sixty-two, you know that that's sixty-two. Add those two together. Take them away from one hundred and eighty, and you get y. Those are all right. Why haven't you drawn your line of best fit? Okay, so your line of best fit needs to be um, a similar slope to the. Uh, points that you've got there. It doesn't have to go through any points, but if you've got points in the middle, 
then something like that is what I'm looking for for a line of best fit. So you throw that mark away. Uh, 357 for the page. That's not what we're looking for there. What, what they're looking for is for you to say you cannot tell what order they will put on the graph. Okay, a thousand, a thousand. Those two are right, but then these are wrong. Um, and what you need to do, again, is look how I explain that on the video clip. And those two are where the other two marks, the other three marks are. So it's not an easy question, um, and that's not an easy question, but again, it is something that you should be able to do. Okay, watch the video, um, make sure you can follow that. No, a triangle hasn't got three equal sides. A triangle's got three sides, but they're not equal. So again, this question, watch the video. 100 is right, well done. Algebra, we will practice it, but the, lots of those things you should be able to practice yourself now. Right, Ross, we had a really promising start there, but there was a lot of lot of stuff you should be able to do, and I know you could do, that you were getting wrong or leaving out there. Uh, so last time you had 40, this time 18, 23, 18, 23, 27, 31, 36, 40, 47, 48, 51. It's an improvement and it's a D, but I don't think that is anywhere near as good as you're capable of. And there's lots of stuff there that you just need to concentrate and try and remember because um, you're just throwing that away. So I reckon you're about 14 marks off a grade C, a safe grade C with that performance. Nevertheless, it is an improvement and we've got the time to keep that improvement going.